Good morning, everybody, and happy Sunday. I'm so excited to be with you again today for another episode of Virtual Sunday School, especially on such a beautiful day as today. So do you remember how we start off every time? That's right, with the Lord's Prayer. Are you ready? Here we go. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial. Deliver us from evil. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Awesome. Today we are learning about God's spirit. Our lyrics to Mary Had a Little Lamb are going to teach us what we're learning about. So repeat after me. God's Spirit is here with me. Here with me. Here with me. God's Spirit is here with me. No matter what I do. Are you ready to do it all together? Here we go. God's Spirit is here with me, here with me, here with me. God's Spirit is here with me no matter what I do. Awesome job. Okay, get out your hands for our rhyme. Are you ready? Here we go. Open them, close them, give a little clap. Open them, close them, rest them in your lap. And this time we're going to use our whole body. So repeat after me because this is going to be new. God's spirit is with me. When I'm up and down. God's spirit is with me. God is always around. All right, let's do it all together. Here we go. God's spirit is with me when I'm up and down. God's spirit is with me. God is always around. Awesome job. So I want you to think of something sticky. Do you have any ideas? Some things that are sticky are tape, uh, magnets, snow. Snow can be sticky when you walk outside and it's snowing and it sticks to your hair and your clothes and everything. And snow is white, right? What church season is white? That's right, Easter. White is the color of Easter. It is still the season of Easter. So today we are going to talk about the way God sticks with us no matter what. Now I want you to think about activities you like to do. Maybe it's playing outside, maybe it's drawing, maybe you like to dance or play baseball, um, any activity that you like to do. Now I want you to think of an activity that you don't like to do or different activities you don't like to do. So this might include like being sick. I know I don't like being sick. Um, feeling grumpy um, or getting hurt, right? Those are all activities that aren't very fun. But guess what? During the activities you like and the activities that you don't like, God's spirit is always with you. So I want you to give yourself a hug while I say the opening prayer, reminding you that God's Spirit is always with you. Here we go. Dear God, thanks for sending your Spirit to be with us. Help us to remember that we are never alone. God's Spirit is always with us. Amen. Awesome. Today's story is all about the Holy Spirit. So unfortunately, our story again is not in the Spark Bible that I have, but Miss Jean was sure to send me a picture so that I have it. Um, and I'll tell you that the picture for our story is all of the disciples. So, and I'll count, there's actually 12 disciples there, right? Because there are 12 disciples. So I want you to listen carefully as I read the story to hear the promise that Jesus makes to his friends and us. 
Okay, you got your big listening ears on? Here we go. The story is called The Promise of the Holy Spirit. Jesus loved his disciples. He knew he was going to heaven soon and wanted to make sure they weren't afraid. Jesus and his friends sat down on the soft grass. Jesus said, It's important to remember all I've taught you. Love God. Love other people. Help each other. Remember, God is most important. God will always love you. Jesus looked at each of his friends' faces. He cared so much for each of them. I promise I'll always love you and everyone who comes after you. I won't be here much longer, but don't worry. God's Holy Spirit will be with you always. The Holy Spirit will help you and God's children forever. The disciples trusted Jesus and the promise he made. So in there, Jesus said that he's not going to be here much longer. Where is Jesus going? That's right, he's going to heaven. So will the disciples go with him? No, they won't be going with. But what promise did Jesus make to comfort his friends when he goes away? Exactly, that he'll always love us. God's Spirit will be with us and help us. If you have other people in your house, I want you to grab them for the second time that I'm going to read this story. You'll need to grab a ball of yarn or string and or anything else that's similar. So I'm going to read the story again, and as I read, I want you to roll the ball of yarn around to person to person until everyone has it, even if it's only two of you. When the ball of yarn comes to you, hold on to a piece with one hand and then roll the ball with the other. Hold on to the yarn until I tell you to let go. Okay? Okay, so the second time reading through. So the promise of the Holy Spirit. Jesus loved his disciples. He knew he was going to heaven soon and wanted to make sure they weren't afraid. Jesus and his friends sat down on the soft grass. Jesus said, it's important to remember all I've taught you. Love God love other people. Help each other. Remember, God is most important. God will always love you. Jesus looked at each of his friends' faces. He cared so much for each of them. I promise I'll always love you and everyone who comes after you. I won't be here much longer, but don't worry. God's Holy Spirit will be with you always. The Holy Spirit will help you and God's children forever. The disciples trusted Jesus and the promise he made. So now look at the web that you made with the yarn or the ball of string or something similar. So now I want one person in the web to gently pull on their string. Can you feel it? When one of us pulls on the yarn, we all feel it. We are all connected by the yarn. In the story, Jesus promised his friends that even while he was gone in heaven, they would stay connected by God's spirit. God's Spirit keeps us connected to God's love, even when we can't see Jesus. God's Spirit is with us, no matter what. Jesus promises to stay connected with his friends by filling each of them with God's Spirit while he has gone away to heaven. Sometimes, we are separated from our loved ones, especially right now. How do we stay in touch with friends and family when we are apart? Have you ever sent a letter to say I love you? Have you ever talked on the telephone or FaceTime someone who lives far away? Have you tried email? This week, I'm going to encourage you to try and connect with someone that you are missing. Another great way to stay connected with friends is to pray for them. God's Spirit connects Jesus and the disciples. God's Spirit connects us all. Today, we talked about God's Spirit. Who promised that God's Spirit would be with us? That's right, Jesus. Who did Jesus make the promise to? Exactly, to the disciples and us. Jesus keeps his promises. God's Spirit is with us, no matter what. Have you ever made a pinky promise? Sometimes promises are made when people hook pinky fingers together. So if someone is near you, I want you to link pinky fingers with your neighbors while we pray. And if no one's near you, you can hook pinky fingers with me. So repeat after me. Dear God, you promise that your spirit will be with us no matter what. 
Thanks for keeping that pinky promise. And all God's children say, Amen. Awesome. So thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Virtual Sunday School. Hopefully, again, this week's looking to be warmer and sunny. Um, so hopefully you can get outside and enjoy that nice and warm and sunny weather. So hope you have a happy Sunday and hope to see you next time. See you then.